Hi everyone, it's Daredevil Cruz here. Uh, I haven't updated my channel. I've been just doing a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, I got into making uh, uh, Perler Beat sprites, and uh, I have gotten so much crap. It's not even funny. Um, about two weeks ago, I stumbled onto a uh, Craigslist ad that had a Sega CD in the box, Model 1, and over 55 games. And some of those games are right here. Um, one of them was Toe Jam and Earl, Red and Stimpy, uh, Splatterhouse, 3, Batman, Son of the Hedgehog, and all that. Um, the main reason I got that, uh, that Craigslist ad it actually had um, the Hyperstone in mint condition, as well as the, um, I can't move this out of the way, I just had it a minute ago, um, I actually got uh, Splatterhouse 2, which I don't, I never owned, and, uh, oh, it's back here, as you can see, Splatterhouse 2 in mint condition, so I finally found, I have the, one of the best series in the Sega Genesis. Well, not best series, but overall the rarest series. And um, not only that, you know, this guy kept everything in mint condition. Um, like it was about 55 games, like I said, and one of them was uh, Doom for 32 X, uh, Star Wars in the box, Pitfall, and uh, I got another Sonic CD in the box, um, along with. Uh, the Lethal Enforcers in uh, the Sega CD version, and um, a bunch of controllers in the box you see down there, extension cords and so on and so on. But um, I've been I've been trying to um, fix my uh, my office here. As you can see, it's very messy. Um, I'm trying to do some cable management, but it's not working so well. Um, and um, as you can see, I'm still working on my collection, and uh, a friend of mine actually has some uh, Nintendo 64 uh, clear colors, and um, as soon as I saw that, I actually got into the spirit of uh, collecting the Nintendo 64 because uh, I came across them all the time, and I never really thought about them like that, so I finally managed to, um, you know, think really hard and deep, and um, I started collecting these. So so far, I got the jungle green, the watermelon red, and the purple. And um, <laughs> what I do is, if if I was uh, young and I had that system, I, I'm basically gonna stick to that uh, model. That if I ever had it when I was younger, I was gonna, um, I'll get it back again. And uh, not having that much money when I was growing up, and my mom was able to, you know, buy me some of these systems. You know, it just brings me back. Uh, a lot of memories when I was younger and uh, now that I'm getting older it's just uh, a matter of collecting and uh, and so on um, uh, I want to do a complete up-to-date pickups but I'm just gonna run through it real quick um, a friend of mine um, that I got a I don't know if I showed y'all that the sign that he had for sale he had an Intel 64 sign um, the reason I met him uh, he actually posted a and that on Craigslist saying that he was giving away over 200 magazines and um, I managed to you know get all of them for free but eventually he kept calling me back and he actually stumbled onto more uh, um, Nintendo Powers and uh, I got all these it was about 30 Nintendo Powers for 10 bucks I guess he threw me a deal since I already bought some uh, stuff from him um, as you can see I did have a GBA box um, bundle that I also purchased, and I'm slowly trying to uh, fill all those games back there with game. Uh, I guess complete them, and um, I've been finding some Sega Dreamcast stuff. I have, I got that Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, for like two bucks not so long ago. I, I found the Nintendo GameCube box, the uh, Zelda Limited Edition box for like two bucks. And um, uh, my buddy that collects the Nintendo 64 found the JVCI at a Goodwill. And because he is not a Sega fan, he actually just gave it to me. And this system goes for about 100 bucks or more on eBay. 
and um, I actually sold it on Nintendo 64 son, for $10, which it did work. Um, I'm kind of regretting it now, but I think it was a fair trade, free versus that time for 10 bucks. I guess we both got something we wanted. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been working on and the reason why I haven't been posting. And you can see my cat is just meowing. Sorry about that. Um, I started looking at these, um, they called them sprites, and I wasn't really aware of them. But I know I saw one in um, Spondioid's video a long time ago. And I really, never really thought about, you know, just doing that stuff on my own. So, um, I ordered a couple beads with the, um, everything you needed to do, to do to make them. And... I started noticing that there was actually a website called Pixel Gasm that had in some incredible beadwork and uh, that sparked my interest and now so far I made about 15 different sprites and I just managed to finish the Nintendo bead sprite. Um, it actually came out pretty well and I just finished it today and as you can see I have over 20,000 beats already in the past two weeks which I already started uh, making but uh, I managed to do the Nintendo sign it looks pretty good, damn good it's about a foot and a half or more um, and I'm um, still I'm gonna keep making some more hopefully some Sega ones uh, as you can see I got plenty of more there and some more here um, but yeah that's been my story lately I just haven't had time to post anything but um, hopefully I'll start back up again and just uh, uh, just want to say thank you to all the uh, YouTube community and just check out my videos. Um, <clears throat> uh, I do have several Genesis games that I do not want, starting with the Toad Jam all the way to the X-Men. Um, these are actually doubles that I, ha I already have and I don't need another one. So uh, if you're interested, go ahead and let me know and... Uh, uh, we can probably do a trade again. You know, I like a uh, Genesis uh, Genesis box items. As you can see, my collection is just growing. And uh, oh, I want to show you a couple more. I did a little double dragon <laughs> uh, beat spread. This is actually my first one, and uh, I've been doing a lot more ever since. There's a Mario, and uh, let me show you real quick. Oh, this guy also threw about 25 different uh, posters with the. Uh, with the lot with the lot that I got from him and uh, most of these are brand new um, this guy it, it was actually an older gentleman he just happened to sell uh, Sega CD model one in the box mint condition and over 55 games one of them was you know Splatterhouse 2 and Splatterhouse 3 and Toe Jam uh, I think the model one by itself is a hundred dollars and he just happened to sell for for all that for 80 bucks and um, I was very happy about that. I should have made a video, which I didn't. I apologize, but uh, I want to show you the uh, the kung fu one that I did also. Um, so far, I'm just taking this as a hobby. But maybe if somebody wants to buy some, I can probably do custom work or whatever. But uh, I just want to show you the other ones that I've been doing. I did a Ninja Guy, and it came out pretty cool. But um, I'm still working on it, trying to get better. And uh, hopefully I'll see my work and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all soon.